Hey everybody, Dave McEwen from Outfield Leadership here. Thanks for stopping by and welcome to this video series that I've called The Lazy Leader's Guide, where I give busy leaders the tools they need to get the most out of their team with a minimal amount of effort. In this short clip, I wanna share with you three things. First of all, why it pays to be lazy as a leader. Secondly, where you truly add the most value to your organization. And thirdly, what the key skills of the lazy leader are. Let's take a look at each of these in turn. First of all, you might be thinking, well, why does it pay to be lazy? And I want to be clear that I'm not talking about slacking off. In fact, quite the opposite. I'm talking about building truly difficult skills, but taking the shortest path to do so. And the reality is, as a leader or a manager, you're busy. You're probably too busy between all of the meetings and emails and water cooler conversations, the status updates and the performance reviews. I'm surprised you get any of your actual work done. And discovering the shortest path to becoming a great leader helps you achieve more for your team and your organization without, without adding too much more to your workload. Linked to this is our second point, the value that you provide to your organization. Unfortunately, too many leaders today think that the value that they bring is in the short-term transactional actions that they take on a day-to-day -day basis, rather than spending time thinking about the medium and long-term development of their team. The first thing that you need to do if you want to accelerate your leadership effectiveness is to turn this thinking on its head, to make the mind shift toward thinking about the long-term direction of your team, how you can best develop them, how you can best support them, and the direction you want to take them in. And that leads me on to the final point, which is what are the skills, what are the key skills that you need to develop? Well, in my perspective, there are six skills that I truly believe are in huge demand and short supply. And they are attention management, delegation, coaching, having difficult conversations, working cross-functionally, and driving accountability. And over the next few videos, I'm gonna share with you some simple ways you can begin to add these skills to your leadership toolkit. See you soon.